Hello guys and welcome back. In this lesson I will be teaching you what is meant by the outline view of your document. It is a very powerful tool and it can save your time and can ease you in writing the text for your document. So for example, first of all we learn that what is outline view. So for instance that you have to write an article or something and you need to first insert the he headings and then the text. So by outline view you can create all the headings and subheadings first before writing the text and then inside those headings you can include your text which saves a lot of your time and ease your work. So without a further ado let's move forward and you need to go to the view tab on your ribbon and over here you need to navigate to the views section. And in one of our previous lessons, I told you about the read mode, the print layout, the web layout, and also the draft view of your document. And now in this lesson, I'm going to tell you about the outline view of your document and what features does this outline view have and what can you do using this outline view mode. So first of all, we need to delete this text over here. Okay, great. So now once you you have a plain document over here, Word document, you need to click this outline view in your views section. And once you click this outline view, you notice that you get some bullet points over here. And a new tab on your ribbon is created, which is called outlining. So basically, this means that you're outlining your Word document first or your article or whatever it is. So you need to select the levels first so the headings contain nine levels the first level the second level and these are gradually the subheadings made once you write your write down your headings on your word document so we'll start off with level one heading and you can also choose that you want to only see the level one headings or the level two headings or all levels so let's go with all levels for now and over here, let's suppose that we're outlining our documents for the continents as heading level one, and the subheadings will contain the countries present in those continents as level two. So let's go with the first continent, which is Asia. Let's press enter and go to level two now. So notice as I click level two over here, it indents the bullet point to the right side which means that it is a subheading of this first level one heading. So let's include over here, China. If I press enter, it will move me to the next line within the same level. So let's add India, let's add Pakistan and so on. So we have these three countries, let's say in this continent Asia. And now if I press enter, it will keep me in the same level which is level 2 and what if I need to add a new continent over here to my heading level 1 so I need to go to this outlining tab over here and simply click level 1 and notice it indents me back to the level 1 heading position let's name another continent for example Africa press enter go to level 2 so you can have countries as a subheading and then start inserting. For example, you can insert Morocco, press enter and it will keep us within the same level too because we're adding countries instead of continents over here. So Nigeria, Sudan and so on. So over here you can see that I'm outlining my Word document right now. I'm adding only the headings and then I can explain beneath each of these headings what text I need to write so once you're done with the outlining you can easily click close outline view and once you click close outline view you notice that you have the headings which are a little bit in a bigger font than the subheadings and you have the subheadings as well which are a little smaller in font than the heading one heading level one so this is how 
you can outline your document and then you can simply enter text whatever you need to write inside this heading this particular heading so this is a very powerful and handy tool that you can use for outlining your document before writing all the text and just to recall it saves you a lot of time in writing an article or or anything you're writing it may be a thesis or or let's say it may be it is a letter that includes headings and so on so i hope this helps keep practicing keep learning and let's move to our next lesson